Hello, good evening, everybody. Um, good evening. Hello. Um, let's see. I'm just making sure of this. Okay, Maritza. Andreita, you look different. Hello, Maritza. How are you tonight? I'm good. Okay, good. How was your Wednesday? ¿Cómo estuvo? Ah, your Thursday, I'm sorry. ¿Cómo estuvo tu jueves? Mm, uh, very busy. Very busy. Yes, almost Friday. And you don't work on, you don't work on, on weekends, right? You have free weekends. Tienes libre los fin de semana, ¿verdad? No. You work. Saturday, I work until 12, 12.30. Ah, you work until 12.30. Okay. Okay, fine. But then you have the rest of the afternoon. Okay, free. Okay, good. Thank you, Maritza. Andreita, why so fancy? Você tem elegancia. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Oh, tell me, did you have a date? No. Not really. Okay. No. It's just for you, right? Sí. Yes, just for me. Okay. I like that. Yes. That's very too. Okay. Uh, how are you feeling? Perfect. Cool. Um, perfect. Okay. Good, Andrea. Thank you. Here we have also Claudia. Hello, Claudia. Yesterday you had problems, right? Yes. Hello, teacher. Hello. You, you had problems yesterday, right? Uh, yes. Okay. And with the electricity, right? Electricity, the rainy, the rain, right? It was rain. The transporte. The transportation. Yes, I know. It is difficult. It's a headache. Es un dolor de cabeza. I know. Okay, but yeah. now you are here with us. Okay, so welcome back. Thank you for being here. Okay, Elsa. Hello, good evening, Elsa. Hi, teacher. Hello, how are you good doing? Okay. Fine, thank you. Okay, that's good. I like to hear that. Perfect. And we have yes. Luis. Hello, Luis. Hello, good evening. Good evening, how are you doing? Very nice. Well, I like that attitude. Perfect. That's perfect for me. Okay. Um, we start now with the second unit. Okay. So this is the class number six, and we are advancing. Vamos avanzando. The topic is industry vocabulary. Okay. So we have class number um six, and we're going to start with a like a very simple question. For example, how often do you receive seminars or workshops? Workshops are talleres, okay? So you can be, you can have like induction about a product. You can have wor workshops about methodology of marketing of administration stuff or seminars about, um, maybe about a uh, new methodology to have finance or different aspects, okay? So you tell me how often do you receive seminars? Maybe once a year, one time in a year, or once in two years, I don't know. Or maybe you receive seminars every, every month, or I don't know. You tell me what's the reality of your enterprise. So we start with uh, Luis. Okay, Luis, you tell me. Okay, in my job, for example, um, every day is change the rules. Oh. And every day, uh, the el departamento, the, uh, every, every day uh, sending messengers with instructions with, with new instructions right yes oh so uh, you have to be active in in checking yes. the mail checking the new instructions right yes uh for example um in the in in the usa change one a uh, politic politic mm -hmm. um is necessary we 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 know know this we know we know yes okay and, Every day. Oh, so 
uh, maybe you don't receive seminars, but you receive instructions every single day. So you have to be active in checking, right? Yes. The new uh, direction. Yes. Yes, and uh, not only uh, from jobs, maybe um, sometimes is instruction with a uh, bonus. Ah, with bonus. Mm -hmm. With my bonus, uh, change every day. Okay. Uh, well, I think that makes your job like more interesting, right? Not boring, not real, right? Not boring. Uh, yes, it is not boring, but is a demanding. Unstable, unstable, uh, unstable. Yes, unstable, yes. unstable. Unstable. Okay. Yes, because, uh, for example, today is my free day, my day off. Okay. But, uh, Tomorrow, for example, uh, I connected in my job and continue uh, with with the rules of yesterday. O sea, oh. yo me conecto mañana yes, yes, yes. Con, las, con, con las normas que conozco de ayer. And uh, I make, I, I puedo cometer un error. I, I, you can make a mistake. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, so it's, it's, complicated. it's complicated, okay? And yeah. it is demanding, muy demandante, right? Yeah. So, mm, uh, because if you have like methodology, okay, it, it is kind of easy and you can do your better, you can do your job better, right? But if you're changing constantly, uh, it is kind of complicated stuff, okay? Yes, I, uh, una vez les dije que si dejaban las normas por lo menos unos seis meses para que yes. uno... It could be great. Mm -hmm. Sería genial Pero... eso. Mm -hmm. But no. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But no. Okay. So, well, thank you for uh, sharing your opinions about and your experience, okay, about uh, seminars, workshops, or instruction. Thank you, Luis. Okay, what about Andrea? How uh, often? Similar, similar. Uh, to than... Luis. Yes. Similar but, to Luis. Uh, Yes, uh, but uh, we uh, we have uh, seminars twice. Twice. Twice, twice a, a week. Year. Twice a twice a year. I, and then I twice okay. a year. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, so you have to be like checking or painting about what you're going to receive the new instructions. If there is a change of place, even if you change your place, for example, Susie, right? For instance. So she was changed. So that's new instructions, right? Yes. Okay. Um, I, este, así como, como decía Luis, este, las, las instrucciones siempre las mandan así por WhatsApp. Eh, okay. Every, every day. Mm -hmm. Every day. So, yeah, remember that sometimes we have like goals or objectives, specific objectives. So in the case, if you are selling any kind of product, you have to reach that objective. Deben de alcanzar cierto objetivo. So that's part of, yes, that's part of it, okay? Thank you, Andreita. Okay. Good, good for you. Maritza, what about you? Do you receive seminars or workshops or your employees or to empleados, your, your, your uh, partners? Mm -hmm. Oh, really? Not really. I never, never receive seminars. Never, but it is- Because uh, my company is a- it's a very, it's small, okay, it's small. It's small. Mm -hmm. But even you can uh, provide or you can give a workshop, un taller, about customer service, right? Because it is good to attend uh, yes. in the correct I, way to customers. Okay. I think in the, um, an institution. Uh -huh. There is an institution. There's there is an uh, institution that uh, provides apoya, uh, apoya, uh, um, okay, support, support at the uh, small companies. Okay, yeah, that's very interesting because small companies need help, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Need support. It's, pro it's probably I can, I will can. Solicitarlo? Uh, yes, uh, I can ask mm -hmm. support. Mm -hmm. You can ask. Ask. Okay. Support. Thank mm -hmm. you. Thank you, Maritza. That, that, that's a good idea. Yes, why not? Okay, what about you, Claudia? Mm, 
Once a year. Once a year, okay. Okay, that, 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 that. Pero como, um, como duran como tres semanas. Okay, three weeks. Mm -hmm. It's a seminar or a workshop and it takes three weeks, okay? Thank you, Claudia. What about Susie Q? Then Elsa. Hello, Susie. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. You are very combined. You are very combined, <laughs> purple, and everything is purple. Okay. Easy. ¿De qué habla, teacher? Sorry. Del amor. No. We're talking about how often do you receive seminars or workshops? ¿Qué tan seguido, pues, eh, o cuán a menudo reciben seminarios, talleres, eh, uh -huh, inducciones? Well, um, maybe two or three seminars in the year. Okay, yes. I remember uh, that. Mm -hmm. Sometimes uh, five depends. Depends. Depends on the product, depends on the, uh, yeah. Yeah, the for, company. For example, si ingresa producto nuevo. Oh, or, yes. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. New product. So you, you, you have like new instructions, no indicaciones, right? About that product. So that's why uh -huh, you can receive that kind of directions. Thank you, Susie. Okay, Elsa, then Marlon. Okay, Elsa, what about you? Uh, depend of the topic, but, but um, once, uh, once uh, every two months. Okay, every two months. Okay, that, that's very constant. Uh -huh. Yes. So, uh -huh, okay. It is good because you are having or you are receiving uh, workshops, instructions, okay? And you yes, are very yes. active. Thank you, Elsa. Oh, I, I can hear you very well, Elsa. If uh, I have a new computer. Wow, good. <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay. It's okay, yes. it's borrowed. Okay, but good because I can hear you and I can see you very well. Thank you, Elsa. And we got with Marlon and Mercy. Uh, okay, uh, we hardly ever, teacher. Hardly, hardly ever. ever. Okay. okay, yeah, hardly ever receive seminars or workshops. Okay, maybe you receive uh, instructions, right? Constantly. Constantly you yes. receive instructions, and that, but not a, a formal seminar, right? Of course. Uh, sometimes uh, we receive some instructions about what to do. Uh, with our clients and about the price of the products and, and uh, always uh, re relacionado teacher ¿cómo sería? related relacion always uh, everything related to the to the price uh, of the products uh, and that's all uh, but like seminars formal seminars or workshop uh, it's hardly ever okay okay thank you Maybe because you have your methodology, you know the processes and you know what to do, right? Of course, that's I it. think that's the reason too. And if you are maybe a the new employee, yes, you can receive some induction. Oh. Mm -hmm, we, can, we, we have to, to, to make, the, make the inductions. Yes, yeah. induction. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, okay. To the, to the new employee. Okay, yes, that, that, that happens commonly. Okay, and that happens most with the companies that have more experience, okay? So that's it. Thank you, Marlo, very nice. And you we go with Mercy and then Kevin. Okay, Mercy, how often do you receive seminars or workshops? Okay, good evening, teacher. Good evening. Uh, on next trip, uh, my job, no very often. It's not often. No, okay. in this year, only one. Only one seminar mm -hmm. in the year. Okay, so that happens. And as I, we were talking with, uh, with Marlon, that sometimes it happens at the beginning, al inicio, right? Yeah, yes. that related to products, related to prices, methodology, payment, finance, and all those things. Okay, thank you, Mercy. Good. Teacher, Kevin, sorry. Yes. Is this, is this a speaking activity? No, 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 relax, chill out, baby, as you say. <laughs> no, so see, es una pregunta, it's a general question, okay? Tranqui, ya, ya va a llegar tu momento de brillar, relax. Lo que pasa es que no mando nada, creo yo. 
Mm, yes. No mandé nada. Ah, bueno. Como les dije que íbamos a hacer... Thank el... you. <risa> no, como les dije que íbamos a hablar del momento más gracioso. Ok. De su vida. Ayer les dije, but we're going to figure it out. Ya lo, ya lo vamos a, a resolver. Ok. Chill out. Ok, sí, la, la, la speaking activity de ahora es el momento más gracioso, ¿verdad? Que, que tú te, te pasas si te caíste. Eh, if, you, if you have some problems, if you declared your love to someone and you were rejected, fuiste rechazado. If you uh, quit your job, si renunciaste a tu trabajo. Or I don't know, no, 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 no. There, there are different, just think about it in a very, a, a, a brief, Uh, explanation. Una explicación bien breve. Ok. Relax. Kevin. Hi. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Uh, only once, three months ago, it was a como capacitación. Yes, yes. A seminar. Yes. Workshop. It's a workshop. Okay. 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 Well, inteligencia emocional. Yes. Oh, I Uh, okay. Well, very interesting. Yes. And that's good because that helps you to have a better relationship with your colleagues, with the customers. Okay. So that's it. Emotional intelligence is one of the most important things. Uh, and that should be taught in at school. But no, they are not. Okay. So um, uh, let me see. Yes. Eso es de lo que vamos a hablar, pero todavía no. Tell the funniest moment in your life. Cuenta el momento más gracioso en tu vida, pa. We have time, viene todavía, ok. Relax, tenemos tiempo. Ok. Ways to say difficult. Para decir difícil. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ok. Challenging. Challenge es reto. When you say challenge is, uh, for example, imagine you start a new job. So that's a challenge. Es un nuevo reto, si comienza un nuevo trabajo, because you have to uh, learn about the product, the prices, the services, and the processes in the company. So that's it. But challenging, challenging eh, es como retador, okay? So se refiere al reto, okay? Challenging. So, Tough es difícil. Tough con F. Todo lo que lleva GH se pronuncia con F. Tough, tough, tough. Como toffee. No sé si comieron alguna vez dulces toffees. Muy bueno. Okay. So tough. Harsh. It's a, it's a synonym. Complicated. We can say complicated. But remember that T sounds like an R. So complicated. Okay. We have tricky. Tricky is, eh, sirve también como tramposo. Yes, como tramposo. A ver, yo les he dicho a ustedes, tricky. <laughs> But tricky is also like kind of difficult because you have some exams that are tricky. You have some proofs, algunas pruebas. They are difficult and they are tricky. Okay, because they are not easy, porque no son fáciles. Demanding, esta palabra me gusta bastante. Demanding is demandante, pero algo que es otro nivel de demanda, okay? Uh, for example, a new job can be demanding, an objective in the company, okay? A person could be demanding, the family can be demanding. Well, there are some examples. We can say hard, okay? Hard is difficult, hard. Duro, difficult, hard, okay? And effortful, effortful, que requiere mucho esfuerzo, okay? Effortful. So we have challenging, tough, Hard, complicated, tricky, demanding, hard, effortful. Okay, so I want to listen your pronunciation about this. We start with Claudia and then we go with Maritza. Okay, we start. Only one. Yes. Just one. Come on. Demanding. Ok, Maritza Marlon. Complicado. Marlon Mercedes. 
Um, tricky. Yo, Mercedes, Kevin. Complicated. Uh -huh. Kevin, Luis. Complicated. Okay, Luis, Andrea. If or full. Good. Uh, Andrea, Susi. Tricky. <laughs> Susi, Elsa. Tough. Tough. Okay. Elsa. Hard. 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 Mm -hmm. Easy. Easy. Okay. That's hard. <laughs> okay. Good. Yes. Okay. So we have ways to say difficult. Remember, you can say difficult, but you can say, well, that's hard. That's demanding. That's challenging. Okay. For example, or for instance, if a person is telling you about a difficult situation in the company, you can say, wow, that's, that sounds hard. Eso suena difícil. That sounds complicated. So that's another form to express and not just to keep silence. Porque si alguien le está contando algo, ah, okay, okay, no. Wow, that sounds hard. Mm. You can say, okay, that sounds hard. That sounds complicated. I'm sorry. So there are some tips uh, in which you can answer in a brief way. Okay, um, go now with this activity and I will need your help. But before doing this activity, I will check the attendance list. Okay, so I will explain that. Personnel, personnel significa personal, es un nombre colectivo, como familia, como equipo. So personnel, it's in the company. For example, Andrea, Susi, Carito, Diana, they are part of the personnel, okay? Forman parte del personal, right? And Kevin, Mercy, Edgar, and Helen, they form part of the personnel. But when you say personal, personal, uh, it is uh, different, okay? Because uh, you refer to one person, okay? For example, uh, it's a personal problem, problem personal. It's a personal, uh, it's a personal demanding, una, una demanda personal, so that's part of this. So uh, I'm going to check the attendance list. Please say hello, hi, good evening, if you are there. Hello, excuse me, teacher. Okay, no, no yet, no yet, relax. No, no, I, I can ask. Yes, go ahead. Uh, ¿Cómo se pronuncia uh, la diferencia o se Personnel, pronuncia así como se, se lee. Personnel, personal. Con E y con A. Personnel, personal. Okay, yeah. So that, that's kind of simple. But it looks tricky, but it, it is not. So, Ana Mercedes, you there. Present. Thank you, Andrea. Hi, teacher. Hello, uh, Claudia. Present, teacher. Okay, Carito. No, Maritza. Present. Thank you. Christian, no, Christian is not there. Okay, uh, we go with Diana, Janita, what is there? Present. Okay, ah, oh, okay, thank you. Edgar, Elsa. Present teacher. Thanks, Elsa. Helen, I know Helen is not going to connect with this. Jonathan, no there. Kevin. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Luis. Hello. Hello. Uh, Manuel. Puede conectarme. Okay, hello, thank you. Marlon. Present. So, Susie. Present. Thank you, Susie. Okay, so here we have complete this statement or that statement with the appropriate, appropriate word. Personal or personal. You tell me what do you think about this. So to start, Susie, the purple girl is going to start. What do you pick from one to five? Okay, uh, number four. Please do not bring your personal problems to the office. Perfect, Susie. Yes, that's the way. Please don't not bring. Bring is traer. No traigas tus problemas personales a la oficina, okay? Okay, so, so that, that, and that usually happens, right? We have problems in our, in our 
emotional life or in our family and we have that or the opposite we have problems in the company in the enterprise and we carry cargamos we carry with those problems to our house and we are we get angry with our family and they are not guilty no tienen la culpa so okay don't do that no hagan eso okay okay lo han hecho pero no lo hagan okay so here, here we have also Kevin. Could you help me, Kevin? Because we have four out. Okay. okay. Mm, personal number five. Five. Personal of the workshop need new uniforms. Okay, could you repeat again, please? The personal of the workshop need new, no sé si es uniforms. Uniforms, bingo. Yes, the personnel, because you're talking about people, okay? Good for you. Okay, now we're going to listen to Elsa, okay, Elsa? Uh, number one. Number one. Who is responsible for the personnel of the, of the plant? Personal or personnel? Personnel. Yes, for the personal at the plant. Thank you. Okay, Andrea, two or three? It's a um, three. Two. Two. Does the marketing manager have a personal assistant? Yes, good. And three, we're having definitely to Claudia Diaz. Okay, it's necessary. It's necessary to train more. Mm -hmm. It's needed to train more. Es necesario en, en, eh, capacitar a más. Personnel. Yes, personnel for the high for the season. high season. Perfect, perfect. So here you have which word means belonging to a particular person, and which word means people who work for a company. So what do you think, Marlon? Which word means belonging to a, pers a particular person and which word means people who work for a company? Of course. Uh, the word means uh, personal uh -huh. means belonging to a particular person. Yes. And personal, and personal is for, uh, is for uh, people who work for a company, for example. Yes, that's it. Easy peasy, right? No problem with this. Thank you, Marlon. Okay, now we're going to start with a worksheet that, remember, we have uh, regular verbs. Verbos que terminan con ed. Okay, so CQ. Así, ah, Susi. Okay, Susi, me está preguntando algo, voy a aprovechar. Uh, tenemos algunos verbos que son phrasal verbs. Por ejemplo, Susie me dice pull down. Está otro que es wake up. Hay otro que es, por uh, ejemplo, um, eh, get out. Cuando tenemos este tipo de verbos que lo vamos a ver más adelante, se llaman phrasal verbs. Estos verbos están conformados por un verbo principal y por otra palabra que puede ser una puede ser una preposición. Entonces, como esto se van a afectar el verbo en realidad, el verbo en sí. Por ejemplo, pull down, aquí en pasado irregular, woke up, aquí también. Ya, down, up, out, no se modifican, solo se modifican los verbos propios. Ok, aprovechando que eso sí me preguntó eso. Thank you, Susie. Very important It's question. Here. Uh -huh. También entraría lo, lo del os, us. No. Mm, no, no, porque us es, por ejemplo, tell us. Vaya, tell us es cuéntame. Es decir, tell me. Ah, perdón, tell us, cuéntanos. Tell me, cuéntame. Cuéntame por qué tenés un olor diferente. Ok, so you say tell me. Entonces, me es cuéntame a mí. Ok, eso no forma parte del verbo. Solo el verbo es tell. Ok. Así que eso es Andreita. Ok, we start with Kevin. Ok, Kevin, uh, here we have ex, uh, easy uh, verbs and remember. 
remember that we have also this aspect. We have three types, three types of pronunciation. Luis, tell me the three types of pronunciation in the for the past of the regular verbs. Do you remember? Son yes, letritas. Walt. Okay, okay. Uh, well, that, that's one. Okay. Uh, el sonido, quiero el sonido. Uh -huh. uh, it. I, 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 uh -huh. I, T, yes. I, D, I, D. Mm -hmm. And D. D, mm -hmm. T. Mm -hmm. I, D, and D. T, I, D, in D. And T. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yes, that's it. Okay, yes, that's it. So easy, right? I, D, T, D. ¿Verdad? Eh, ya. Aprovechenlos, gocenlos, disfrútenlos, ámenlos, porque ya casi no los vamos a ver. Son los más fáciles. Los easy peasy. Ya después. Goodbye. So now uh, we have Kevin. So pick one, Kevin. And after Kevin, we're having Maritza. Number one. Okay. Bueno, vimos que solo la, la que terminan con ed, verdad? Sí, todos esos terminan en ed. Pero la, la pronunciación es la importante. Ajá. I, no sé si es I walked. Mm, así se escribe, pero se pronuncia I walked. I walked to work last week. Thank you, Maritza. And then we go with Marlon. Number two. Mm -hmm. He studied. Computers for five years. Perfect. Marlon, and after Marlon, we go with Mercy. Okay. Uh, number five. It en ended, Seria? Yes, yes. It ended at 6 p.m. Perfect, Marlon. Good one. Mercy, then Elsa. Number three. Yes. They are right late mm -hmm. for the party. Perfect, mercy. That, that's the way. Elsa and then Andreita. Number seven, you like, like it, the movie? I did. I ok, didn't. ok. Como termina con K, porque la E no se pronuncia, va a sonar similar a, 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 a este. Con T, sería you like. Ok. You like the movie. Uh -huh. uh, I, I didn't. ¿Te gustó, la, ¿Te gustó la película? A mí no. Okay. No. Yes. Eh, Andrea, and then Dianita, si está por ahí. Number 10. Yeah. The teacher helped the student after class. Yes, I do every single class. Ah, well, after every single class. Thank you. Diana, and then eh, Luis. Uh, number 8. Mm, Bob needed mm -hmm. and that book. Yesterday. Yes, Bob needed that book yesterday. Perfect. Okay, we call Luis, and after Luis, we're having, uh, we're having Manuel. Ellen wait for an hour. Bien, como es ed, ¿cómo sería? ¿Qué te dice tu corazón? Waited. Yes, waited. waited for yeah. an hour. For yes. an hour. For mm -hmm. an hour. Mm -hmm. Good. Pobre Helen. Le tocó esperar. Okay. Um, we go with Manuel. Are you there? Okay. Okay. Uh, number four. Uh, creo que se le agrega la de. Uh, we married. 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 Third. In a, in a church. Sí, nos casamos en iglesia, dice. Ahí le puse un enlace al pobre. Lo siento. <laughs> no. Ok. No. <laughs> Susy Q. Ok. They use it. Mm -mm. My new pen. No. Con D. Use. They use. Use. Mm -hmm. Use the, my new pen. Yes, yes. La clave, la clave del éxito de todo esto es como probar. Pueden probar. ¿Cómo sonaría? Eh, por ejemplo, work it. No. ¿Saben que Nunca, nunca, jamás, never, forever and ever, you're not going to pronounce ed. Nunca van a decir work it, like it. Jamás van a decir eso. 
a lo mucho que pueden llegar es a ID. Ya, visited, ¿verdad? Complicated, complicated, ¿verdad? Pero nunca ED. Entonces, siempre son las tres opciones. D, ID, ¿verdad? O T. Entonces, ustedes prueben cuál es la más lógica, cuál suena igual, pero jamás digan ED. ¿Ok? Entonces, ya tenemos como una mayor, una mayor noción. ¿Ok? So, here we have like a very clear idea how to pronounce uh, simple past verbs that definitely are regular, que son regulares. ¿Ok? Um, ok. Vamos a comenzar a ver irregulares, los que son irregulares, los que son más sabrosones, ¿ok? So I'm going to give you five seconds, try to remember one of these words that I'm going to present you, ¿ok? Just one or two. There you go. Ok, we start with Claudia and then Mercy. Mm -hmm. Become. Become. Uh -huh. Mercy. Te la ganaron, Mercy. Así es la vida, así es la vida. Ajá. Mercy, then Susi. Ajá, Mercy, decime algo. Bitcoin. 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 No, Bitcoin. Ah, Bitcoin. Y, y make, make. And, and make. Uh -huh. Make. Ok. Ok. And Susi, then Marlo. Broad. Mm -hmm. Marlon, Diana. Bend. Mm -hmm. Diana, Kevin. Spoke. Spoke, yes, como el de Star Trek. Kevin, Elsa. Went. Mm -hmm. Elsa, Andrea. Ok, Andreita. Fel. Ok, ok, I'm sorry. No sé por qué siempre pasa eso. O sea, esperamos en el momento. Ok, Elsa, yes. Felt. Ah, felt. Perfect. Andrea, Manuel. Get wrong and lost. Ah, good. Manuel and Maritza. Got. Mm -hmm. And Maritza. Bit. Ok, thank you. Now, irregular verbs, los verbos irregulares, son los que al cambiarlos en el pasado lo siento we are not going to use ed no vamos a usar ed cambian totalmente teacher y cómo hacemos con eso what can i do with this ugly verbs con estos verbos feos well we have to memorize tenemos que memorizarlos that's the only the, the only way la única salida okay so here we have um, well i'm going to present you an example of uh, this, the, the same list, la misma lista que les presenté la vez pasada, okay? Remember that the last time we studied this, la vez pasada nosotros estudiamos esto, okay? Look, esto estudiamos. Porque son los regulares, but now we're going to study irregulars, okay? Estos irregulares, okay? So, see, they have like a different, Different right, okay? Pero ya vamos a ver eso. So, uh, we have a conversation. And please, take a look at this. Cuatro segundos. I know you, you can do it in four seconds. Okay, Kevin. Now you tell me, Kevin, then Andrea. Okay, my name is Rick. Nice to meet you. Okay, fine. Andrea, then Luis. They're in Panama. Hmm. Luis Maritza. Uh, Manufacture. Uh, you listen to me? Yes, yes. Manufacture. Yes, I don't know is the pronunciation correct. Manufacturing. Pronunciation. Manufacturing. Manufacturing. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, Luis. Maritza and Diana. Okay. Manufacture. Uh, <laughs> Manufacture. For <laughs> those. Okay. Diana and Marlo. Nice to meet you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Marlo, merci. <laughs> well, uh, we manufacture boxes, <laughs> algo así. Okay. Merci. What that means? Okay. No sé si hay, ¿sí? mm -hmm. Yes. Ink. Mm -hmm. 
Inc. Eh, yes, Inc. Inc. Thank you. So we have Rick Grimes. Tenemos aquí pues esta this conversation about Rick and Jack. Jack Sparrow. Okay. So at a seminar. Significa en el seminario, ok, in a workshop, uh, in a training, de, puede ser como se llama un, una capacitación, ok, en seminario, ok. So here we have uh, Rick, we have Jack. Manufacture, manufacture, it's a verb, nosotros elaboramos, ok, o manufacturamos, elaboramos o manufacturamos, ok. So for this we're having, um, let's see, Andrea here. And Kevin, okay? Uh, Rick, you are Ke Kevin, you are Rick, and Andrea, you are Jack. Okay, my name is Rick. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I'm Jack. I work for Inex Inc. What does Inex Inc. do, Jack? We manufacture cardboard box for pa package. Packaging. 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 Packaging companies. Oh, I see. Does Inex have many branches? Yes, it does. We have three manufacturers uh, branch mm -hmm. in the country. Yes, yes, yes. And where are the headquarters? Headquarters. Quarters. No they, they're in Panama. Yes, Panama, como la canción de Van Halen. Ok. So, in this case, headquarters eh, significan las sedes. Ok. So, they say, and eh, where are the headquarters? Quarters es un cuarto. Así se le llama a, a las coras que le decimos nosotros. Quarter, quarter, dollar. Pero nosotros hermosamente le decimos coras. ¿Verdad? So, eh, in this case, eh, headquarters... Susie Q, please help me. The place. The place where a company or organization has its main office. Offices, yes. Que es Offices. el lugar uh -huh, donde tiene sus oficinas. Ok, una organización. Ok, eh, Marlon, please. Branch. Branch significa eh, rama. Uh -huh. Ok. Branch. Eh... A shop or office representing a large company e, e, or organization in a particular area. Yes. Branch eh, significa marca, pero también sin, pero marca, perdón, rama, pero significa sucursal. Okay, so it is easier to have as headquarters como sede y branch como sucursal. Okay, porque branch significa rama, pero en este caso no aplica tanto, aplica mejor sucursal. Okay, so... Um, and let's see. So um, we're going to practice this short conversation. I will need you to have a screenshot. It, this is, you're not going to take more than three minutes. No, vamos a tomar más de tres minutos en, en esta conversation. Okay, so now let's do it. Manufacture, manufacture, and manufacturing. Okay, manufacture, manufacturing. Branches. Headquarters, no me digan headquarters. Headquarters, headquarters. And packaging, packaging, porque package es paquetes, okay? Packaging, packaging. Manufacture, packaging, branches, manufacture, headquarters. Okay. Let's practice a little bit.
Hello, Mercy. Hello, teacher. Quiero felicitarte, te escucho mejor tu pronunciación. Ay, thanks. Sí, te lo sí, he verdad notado. Es que sí, me cuesta, pero estoy haciendo el esfuerzo. Eh, yo siento que está, y ha dado un pequeño salto, fíjate, del módulo pasado a este y veo la diferencia y me gusta, me gusta, te felicito. Yes, thanks. Okay, go ahead, ven. Vamos a ver entonces. Um, eh, tú comienzas. You're Rick. I am Jack. Okay. Okay. My name is Rick. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I'm Jack. I work for Inex Inc. What does Inex Inc. do, Jack? We manufacture cardboard boxes for packaging companies. Oh, I see. Does Inex have many branches? Yes, it does. We have three manufacturing branches in the country. And where are the headquarters? They're in Panama. Okay, solo un detalle, Mercy. Aquí vamos a decir my name. My Pero name. Pero mírame. Tienes que cerrar los labios. My name. Name. My name. name. Es my name. name. Sí, porque si decimos name, no se escucha my la name. M. Ahora, decí, decí esto. Decí name. Nay. Time. 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 Name. Name. Uh -huh. ah, vamos a trabajar un poquito la M. ¿Oíste? Al final. <laughs> ok. Yo soy Rick. Ok. Now I'm Rick. My, hi. Eh, hi. This is not nice. Ever. My name is Rick. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I am Jack. I work for Inex Inc. What does Inex Inc. do, Jack? We manufacture cardboard boxes for packaging, packaging companies. Oh, I see. Does Inex have many branches? Yes, it does. We have three manufacturing branches in the country. And where are the headquarters? They're in Panama. Okay, in Panama. Okay, perfect. Uh, okay, I'm going to see you later. Te veo en un momento, okay? Okay. That's it. Perfect. Okay, uh, Susie, pick one of the words that are underlined. La que me costó más. No, la, de las que están sorrelladas. Okay, manufacture, cardboard. Eh, esa sí, no, no sé, teacher. Yo lo intenté y lo intenté y nada. Así me dijeron una vez y me fallaron. Okay, packaging, <laughs> packaging, 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 packaging. Yeah. <laughs> Branches. Uh, manufacturing uh, headquarters. Headquarters, ok. Ok, headquarters. Eh, cuando decimos cardboard, nos referimos a cartón o cartulina. So, cardboard boxes significan cajas. Cajas de cartulina de cartón, ok. 
cardboard, esta, este material es bien importante. Si quieren anoten el cardboard, a mí casi siempre se me olvidaba esa palabra, cardboard. Okay? Igual que pajía, straw, siempre esas palabras son. Okay? So manufacture cardboard, packaging, packaging, branches, manufacturing, headquarters. Okay? So um, let's see. They are obviously meeting for the for the first time. Ahorita se están eh, conociendo por, por primera vez, ¿ok? Están de la mano. Ok. So, they are meeting for the first time. They are in a seminar, ¿ok? Están en un seminario. And they are saying, hey, I work for this company, blah, blah, blah. And my company does these things. Mm -hmm. So, the other person asks about what does your company do? What about the branches? And, and those things. Así que se están presentando and they are saying the information about their company. Okay. Here we have this. What two questions would you ask as Rick to continue the conversation practice? The expanded conversation with a partner. ¿Qué preguntas le podría hacer Rick? A uh, Jack. Okay. Uh, para seguir la conversación. Okay. Think about it. One or two questions. How many times you have working in the in the company? How much time? time? How much How time? How much time have you worked in the company? Okay, it's a, it's a good question because they are talking about uh, their experience, right? In the company. Perfect, Luis. A very, very good point. Any other? Where do you work? Okay, thank you. Merci. And then, Where do you work? Okay, yes. Well, but uh, Rick knows that Jack works for Inex. Rick ya sabe ah. que Jack trabaja para Inex. A menos que Jack, uh, unless Jack asks to Rick. A menos que Jack le, le pregunte, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. A Rick. Ajá, Pero yo así lo tomé como Jack a Rick. Ah, no, no, but you, yes, but they can continue with that question, but from you... Jack to Rick. Okay, thank you, Marcy. Manuel? Uh, la pregunta así como que, do you are visited uh, the headquarters? Ah, uh, o oh, do you visit the headquarters? Do you visit? visit yes, uh, another question. Okay, thank you. Uh, the last one, any other question about it? Yeah. Uh, okay, uh, Marlon and Susie. Aunque Susie estaba con todo, me la va a ganar. And what do you do in the company? Oh, yes, the they, are, the they are not talking about the, the chart, the position, right? So what do you do in the company? Okay, thank you. Susie? Uh, maybe, what do you like more? Sería así, teacher. ¿Qué te gusta más de tu trabajo? What do you like the most? Esto, si quieren que no te okay. esta pregunta es bien importante. Thank you, Susie. Teacher. Yes. Lo siento mucho, pero necesito que por favor me repita qué significa headquarters. Headquarters, headquarters, headquarters significa sedes. Sedes. Son okay. las sedes. Ok, por ejemplo, Simán has different headquarters. Ok, uh, and that's it. Uh, pero aquí dice el lugar donde la compañía o la organización tiene sus oficinas principales. Ok, ok, uh, headquarters, ok, sede. Y branch, les había dicho, sucursales. That's different. So there is a main headquarters. It can be one or two headquarters. Okay, la oficina principal donde ustedes pueden ir va a ser todo el papeleo. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that's it. You're welcome, Kevin. So what do you like the most of your company? What do you like the most of your family? What do you like the most of your boyfriend, your girlfriend? What do you like the most of your... I don't know. And you can say, what do you hate the most? ¿Qué es lo que más odias de? Del, mm -hmm. pues sí, pues sí. So that's it. So you, you can say it. It's a good question. For example, if you're having, remember to, to when you, Ask open questions, uh, the conversation can be extended. ¿Verdad? La conversación se expande. ¿Qué te gusta más? ¿Qué odias más? Okay. Aunque también puedes decir, what 
can you stand? ¿Qué no puede soportar? Pregunta que hemos visto en otros lados. Ok. So, what do you like the most of? What do you hate the most of? Okay. So, we're going to make a pair of work. Vamos a hacer un trabajo otra vez de pareja. List three companies with branches in your country and the locations of its headquarters. It is not necessary to make three. You can do two. Okay. The company, for example, Siman. The branches son las sucursales. Ah, can be one in Metro Centro, one in no, not in Salvador anymore. In another mall, and the headquarters. Conocen lo, lo, los, ¿cómo se llama? Las oficinas centrales. Headquarters es la sede. Perdón, Kevin, si gusta, no sé por qué. Ya ven. Headquarters, le recomiendo que le pongan sedes, Kevin, o también puede poner oficinas centrales. Es más fácil. Headquarters, oficinas centrales. Por ejemplo, Simán es la company. The branches, uh, be Metro Centro. Mm la Gran Vía en su others, ¿ok? And the headquarters are located in eh, galerías, escaló. That, that, those, well, that is the headquarters. Esa es la oficina central de esta semana. ¿Ok? So you can do it, you can talk about your company if you want. It's not necessary to talk about another, con, eh, another company. ¿Ok? So I need two. ¿Ok? So, so uh, remember, company, branches, and headquarters. When I say branches, you can say the place. Pueden mencionar el lugar donde están. Okay, in San Salvador, in Soyapanco, in Chalatenango, I don't know. Okay. And the headquarters, donde están las oficinas centrales. Okay. Y se nota, it is very obvious for the headquarters because it, that's the main part of the administration stuff. Donde las partes de administrativas. Okay. Esas son las oficinas centrales. Okay. Let's do it with the same person you were working in the pa in the previous activity. Mercy, voy a necesitar que hagas uno, ¿ok? Escribirle iba. Ok, sí, dale, solo haceme uno, ¿ok? The company, the eh, the ¿Cómo era farmacia? Porque yo lo pongo como pharmacy San Roque. Eh, puedes decir drugstore o pharmacy, cualquiera de las dos puedes. ¿Cómo okay? es? Drug. Dro te voy a dar las la, la dos para, para que las tengas, ¿ok? Eh, let me see, let me see, yes. Ok. Aunque se, se, se escucha raro ese drugstore. Drugstore. Ah, como tienda de drogas se escucha. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but, but no, it is farmacia, ok. Y también puedes decir, yo te recomiendo que digas pharmacy, ok. Pharmacy. Mm -hmm. San Roque. Yes, se escucha, uh, siento que se escucha más formal farmers. Ok. Ok, good, mercy. Branches. Mm -hmm. 
Son Sonate. Ajá. Uh -huh. Branches. Yeah. Branches. 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 Ah, yes. branches. Yes. Son Sonate. Mm -hmm. Santa Tecla. Okay. Solo, solo okay. So Sonate Santa the... Tecla. You can mention too. And oh, the vale. headquarters. And the headquarters. Mm -hmm. Que es la oficina central. Center City Son Sonate. Okay. Okay. Eh, Son Sonate Central City. Okay. Sonate Central City. Yes. Son Sonate Central City. Okay. Okay. En realidad son varias, teacher. <laughs> yes, I can imagine. Yes, but that, that's just an example, okay? Good. Okay. Ya viene Cristian, me lo explicas por. Okay. Okay, thank you, merci. Andreita. Hi, teacher. Vamos con todo. Usted es la clave del éxito. Eh, voy a decir one, dos. One, one. Ah. Cada uno es... Ah, ok. Company, one. solo decía el nombre de la compañía, dónde está ubicada, si es one or two, and the headquarters. Ok. Ok. Companies, Kiboa, Branches, San Antonio Caminos, and headquarters, San Salvador. Thank you, Susie. Then Maritza. Okay, uh, premium white shop drink it. ¿Cómo sería? Branched, la mascota de San Salvador, en la esquina Santa Tecla, el centro comercial. Y headquarters, Final Avenue San Martín, 4-7 Santa Tecla. Mm, good one. Thank you. Okay, Maritza Marlon. 
Ok. Librería Galvez. Eh, eh, branches en la 25 y terminal. En Headquarters, eh, Centro de Santa Ana. Sant, ok. Santa Ana, Central City. Santa Ana, Central, Central City. City. No problem. Marlon and Claudia. Of course. Uh, only one. Okay, yes, just one. It of can course. be yours if you want. Oh, okay. It's up to you. It's uh, up to you. In the company, we we have a Grupo Grisal, for example, mm -hmm. and the branches uh, they are in, in Plaza Mundo Popa, Plaza Mundo Soyapango, and uh, the headquarters is in the World Trade Center building in mm -hmm. Colón Escalón. Okay. Good and and the, the other, the other, uh, the other companies can be mentioned by my my your classmate. My classmate. Yes. Good. Thank you, Marlon. Fine. Claudia Yo Elsa. Voy. Companies Movistar, Brouches, Metro Centro, Galerías, Plaza Mundo, mm -hmm. Headquarters, Ciudad Merliot, Nueva San Salvador. Okay. Thank you, Elsa. Merci. Eh, modular Abierta University, mm -hmm. Branches Santa Ana, San Miguel, y Headquarters de San Salvador. Thank you. Merci, Luis. Company Pharmacy San Roque, Branches Sonsonate, Santa Tecla, Headquarters Sonsonate, Center City. Good one. Luis, Kevin. Ok. Eh, we, we, we write at Panadería Santa Tecla, Tecleña, I'm sorry. Okay. The Tecleña. Um, branches is on Santa Tecla, Lower de San Salvador, varios eh, lugares, eh, many okay. places. Yes, yes. And the headquarters is on Santa Tecla. Okay. And we know, uh, we too have a Farmacia San Roque. Good. Thank you. Uh huh. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, Kevin? Yes, just one, just yeah. one, Luis. Okay. Ah, just one. Uh, yes. Sant Santa Tecla and Santa Ana City say uh, Kevin. Kevin dice que ahí hay, no, I, I don't know, I don't, no conozco realmente. But uh, the headquarters is on San Sonsonate. Okay. Thank you, thank you. Okay, Kevin. Okay. Kevin era conmigo. Yes, por eso solo está okay. pidiendo una, Luis, porque cada uno tiene que decir, ajá. Ah, ok, ok, I'm so sorry, I'm yeah. sorry, Kevin. No te preocupes. Ok. Eh, bueno, company, San Roque Pharmacy, Branches, Santa Tecla, Santa Ana, Huachapán, Metapán, Carasucia, eh, Headquarters, Sonsonate. Ok, a question, Kevin, where is located yes. Carasucia? Where mm -hmm. is located? Eh, es, conoce Metalío. Yes, you know, yes, Metalio. Uh -huh. Es arriba de Metalio. Okay. Carasucia. Ajá. Uh -huh. I have heard about it. Okay. De la carretera de Metalio. Uh -huh. Solo se va recto y llega a Carasucia. Okay. Maybe one day. Okay. Thank you. Dianita. And then Manuel. Okay. Company, distribuidora salvadoreña, branches, Lourdes. Y no estoy segura, pero creo que también en Apopa. No me mientas, no me mientas. No me acuerdo. Ok. Quarters in Santa Tecla. Thank you. Manuel. Companies uh, is in Jiboa. Ingenio Jiboa. Mm -hmm. uh, branches, San Antonio Caminos. Y Headquarters, San Salvador. Ok, perfecto. Thank you. And Christian, did you do it? Lo hiciste, Christian. Yes. Okay, please. Ah, bye. Company sería Compañía de Salvadoreña de Seguridad, o sea, de CB. Branches. Branches, se dice. Branches. Branches sería La Libertad. Y Headquarters es San Salvador, Central City. Okay, good. Just a moment.
okay thank you uh now we're going to start with the speaking activity that is going to be kind of relaxed okay so as i said eh, no la mandé verdad eh, durante la mañana pero ayer les había dicho que vamos a hablar sobre el momento más gracioso de nuestra vida mientras los demás lo están haciendo pues los demás pueden eh, recordar ese momento hermoso and we're going to start with marlon and then luis okay marlon you are of course <laughs> you are the star of this show okay thank you um, uh... I don't know what is the funniest moment in my life, teacher, but remember one. Um, uh, when I had the long hair, uh -huh. uh, I always had problems with the clowns in, in, the, in the celebrations. Of, of ah, birthday. yes, in the parties. In the parties. Con okay. los ah, yeah. yes. uh, I don't know. We, we are, if you have a, a long, long hair, hair and, if you look some different, you are a, a great target. Okay, and, and you are part of the show. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. See, if, if you are different, you you are- uh, Different uh, appearance, you're uh, the target. Yeah, yeah, the first, the yes. first person that they-, they They're going they, to take. They're going to take. So uh, uh, one, once uh, I had to, I had to dance. Ah, uh -huh. and, and you uh, are rock star. Dancing, <laughs> but I, I I don't like it. I I couldn't, uh, but I had to, to do it because I, I, there were my son, my my children. They, there there was there was uh, a lot of a lot of kids, so uh, I had to do it. Yes, it's part of the show. It's part of the celebration. Part of you the you don't have to be like, like angry, like grumpy, as you No, of you course. have to do it you have to do it <laughs> so that's uh, there are some uh, or too much uh, mo moments moments okay marlon what did you I, dance I, I, uh, cumbia no no salsa, no uh, it was it, it was a uh, a uh, uh, play como como podría decirle fue una dinámica que se inventó la persona un, yes un a juego. dynamic yeah a dynamic it, it, there, it was a dynamic uh, by the clown and I so had to, to do it. To, to move we, it. We, we, we didn't uh, we didn't have uh, music. Oh, okay, that's fine. Yes, that's because of the kids. You of did course. It. it was a sacrifice. It you. was a sacrifice. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fine, Marlon. Thank you. Thanks for understanding. <laughs> yes, I understand because I have done it. Yes, I have done it. So the clowns pick you and you say, well, anyway, and the kids are, come on, dad, go ahead. So, yes, that's what. Yes, thanks, Marlon, for sharing. Okay, now we go with Luis, and after Luis, we're having Manuel. Okay, uh, only one thing, uh, two things. Uh, you know what is the song? Uh, what say? Que le digo si la miro cuando la miro. El baño colorado, yes. Ah, exactly. Sure. Okay, one and second is uh, how do you say Hanano? O cómo se le dice a la persona que habla eh, co, que tiene la, la... <laughs> yeah yes yes I I I, I understand that the, but I do, I'm going to look for it lo voy a buscar because okay, okay. nunca lo había uh, pensado anajenados no sé si era uh, on English yeah oh, I know I don't know how the no but uh, for. I'm I'm, we're, I'm going to check it okay but uh huh with okay, hananos, it, hananos. that is necessary uh, for the for my memories because in one occasion, uh, a man dresses as a clown, mm -hmm. got on the bus, and on the bus, he is, mm -hmm. on the bus. Uh -huh. He started with a uh, performance, uh -huh. and we, and yes, and we, uh, my sister and me, didn't don't stop louding because he was a, I don't know how do you say Hanano and yes he and he uh seen that canto esa canción yes he is a, uh. yes but uh i i i remember was only a kid uh maybe uh on this side in ese momento i have a 
maybe say six or seven years. I mm -hmm. don't remember. But uh, in the bus, my sister and, and me don't stop it. Laughing. Uh, don't stop laughing. Yes, because it's very, very uh, funny. Yes. Uh, <laughs> que le digo si la miro pa like a ha -ha, I'm so sorry. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. That's the effect of their pronunciation. Okay, good. I'm sorry, only uh, yeah, your memory is my, my, my you... best memory. You never forget I, that. No, 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 olvidas eso, right? No. Uh, and my sister too, I, she don't, uh, she don't, no olvida. Okay, okay. <laughs> so that's a memory combined. Okay. Uh, you have the same memory. Okay. <laughs> Good. La del moño colorado. La del moño colorado. Ah, no mix. Okay. Y después lo vimos en la película de mi pobre angelito y me acord... siempre me acuerdo de esa peli... de esa okay. de esa historia porque todos los años lo vemos en la tele. Yes, that, that yeah. is. Okay. <laughs> thanks, Luis. Thanks for the Hanan story. Okay. okay, Marlon. Thanks for the clown story and his long hair. Okay, Manuel. Hello, Manuel. Are you there? Okay. Uh... The moment, oh, the funniest moment for me is uh, when I get, when I got uh, my first salary. Porque ya lo debía. Y no me quedo nada. Okay, a lot of debts, muchas deudas. Yeah. So you, the money you receive and you give the money yeah. to, to the debts. Yeah. Okay. Uh, how old were you? ¿Cuántos años tenías? 18, 17, 20? No. Uh, no, yo tenía como, como ver, bien como 19 años. Yeah, no maybe. Yeah, that usually happens, okay? Okay, I'm so sorry for your salary, Manuel. <laughs> yeah, okay. It, oh, actually, it was not your salary. Ya ni era tu salary. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Manuel. Good. Sí. Elsa, are you ready? Or you need time? Yes. Yes, teacher. <clears throat> yes, what? Yes, are In you a ready? Party, oh, uh, okay, go, go ahead. Yes. Yes, uh, the big party anniversary for my uh, grand suegros for uh, father the in law. Father in law. Um, I dance with my my little little. Kid? Uh -huh. five years uh, five years uh, dancing with me and I uh, turn, turn around turn around, turn around. you fell uh, yeah. no. he said, said, yes I fell in, in my dress he, he, okay, I, uh, I fell down in, in nine different excuse me uh -huh. No in the piece, not on the floor. No, in in the chair on the other person. Ah, okay. So, okay. <laughs> Sorry, you, hit, no, Roja. you were ready. You're ready. Okay. So, you hit the other person. Okay. Yes. Okay. Just for being dancing. And everybody yes, yes. look at you. Todos te vieron. Yes, y, y, y el, el señor que me recibió, pues así, ¿verdad? Súper, <ríe> yo súper roja, pero él emocionado. Así que... yeah. Ok, ok. Thank you, Elsa, for your story, for your dancing story. Ok, thank you. Uh, what about okay. Kevin? Ready? Yes, teacher, I'm, I'm ready. Go ahead, please. Um, it's very rising for me, but... Once, when I was a kid, I remember standing on a table and my brother under my, my pants and I was naked from my west down. And it was very embarrassing, even though he was just a kid. Okay, o sea, estaba en la parte de abajo, no tenía nada de ropa. Me ah, pulled down. <laughs> 
Como dice, sí. eso, sí, full town. Yeah, y that estaban is... unos vecinos afuera. That, yes, that's a prank. Prank es una travesura. That's a common prank when we are kids. Cuando somos niños, you pull down the shorts, the pants, and you are exposed. So expuesto. Okay, to the public. <laughs> okay, Kevin, how old were you? ¿Qué edad tenías? Uh, like 10 years old. Like 10 years old. Okay. <laughs> okay, thanks for uh, your story about your, 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 what, your naked moment. The moment of the moment. <laughs> Thank you. Maritza, are you ready, Maritza? Or do you need time? I can hear you. Okay, Maritza. Excuse me, my mouse no. Uh, didn't work. No, no, it's a question now. I went to the city hall. Mm -hmm. In the hall of Santa Ana um, to request a birth uh, certificate. A certificate. Mm -hmm. Certificate. And they don't uh, find me the certificate. <laughs> and I got very angry. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then I remember that my birth certificate is not in Santa Ana. <laughs> Is in Texas the Peque City. Okay, and so you were very angry with the secretary, yes. and your certificate um, was not in there but in another place. Yes, and I, without saying anything, was email and I and left. You went out. <laughs> yes. Okay, ah, oh, you didn't apologize. No, 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 <laughs> ok, vaya. Mm, esa es la de ver, Maritza. <laughs> la de ver, ok. Yes, yeah, sometimes it happens. So, thank you, Maritza, and his certification. Ok, we're going to continue later with the, the rest of your uh, funny stories, but uh, for the moment we have this. Match the product service to the corresponding industry type. And so we're going to match. Cuando digo match es unir, vincular. Okay? So, uh, let's see. We're going to start with Andreita. Okay, Andreita. Uh, pick one of these and you tell me what is uh, the corresponding answer. Okay? Uh, number one, banks. Uh -huh. in, and uh, I acabo de ver que se dice ah. Ay, ya está contestada. I'm ah, sorry, pero... yes, ya yeah, tramposa, <laughs> tricky. The finance industry. Mm -mm. Entonces, number seven, medicine. Medicine. Eh, letter J, the pharmaceutical industry. Okay, letter seven. Okay, pharmaceutical industry. Okay, yes, what is that? Yes. Okay, thank you. What about Susie? Are you there, Susie? And then Claudia. Yeah, uh, number three. Mm -hmm. Guide. Guided. Guided tours. Uh, letter I. Letter. The tourist, the tourist industry. Yes, tourism, tourism mm -hmm. industry. Okay, good. Now we go with Claudia and then Diana. Okay, number six, mobile phones. Phone? Mo mobile phones, phone. mm -hmm. phones. Uh -huh. Mobile phones. Letter uh, D. Yes. The Se telecommunication industry. Industry, industry. Industry. Mm -hmm. Telecommunication industry. Okay. 
Uh, let's go with Diana and then we're having Marlon. Okay, number nine. nine. Our salon service. Services. And mm -hmm. Services. And letter A, mm -hmm. the beauty and personal car industry. Yes, of course it is. Thank you, Diana. Marlon and then Luis. Number five, buildings. Yep. And that's a letter uh, B, the construction oh. industry. Yeah, that's your area, Marlon. Oh, definitely. definitely. Pecado, it's a sin if you didn't know. Uh, Luis and Christian. Okay, uh, I think a uh, letter and uh, the number four. Number four. Yes, a uh, cardboard boxes is a uh, letter G, the packaging industry. Yes, 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 yes. Mm -hmm. Packaging industry, definitely. Christian, are you there? Uh, number eight, car component. Uh, Sería... no estaba, yes, yes, car components. Which one number? Sería... <laughs> we have letter C, letter F, letter H. Sería... Con F. F, okay. The automotive. automotive industry. Industry, okay. Kevin, your turn. Okay. Number two. Number two. Soft drinks. Soft drinks. Uh, letter uh, C or letter H? H. The beverage, beverage industry. Uh, beverage. What is beverage? Beverage es brebaje, bebidas. Brebaje se escucha como un poción mágica. ¿no? Bebidas, beverage. Okay. I prefer to say drinks, but you can say beverages. Como el agüita de... You know what, agüita. Agüita, agüita, special company. So clothes and textile industry. That's it. Okay. Um, now we have no oh sorry now we'll go with the listening don't go and listen to this it. is a conversation okay uh, even it is kind of long one minute but it is interesting it's un tanto pues eh, interesante esta conversation i will need i will need you to pay attention and take notes if you can. Okay, let's listen. Hi, Mario. Can you help me prepare some things for the next month? Okay, sure. What can I help you with? I need to visit the customer in Germany. It's important. Why can you do to help? Can you send an email to the customer? Ask them when I can visit them next week. Let's do this first. It's a priority and very urgent. Right. I'll do it today. Thanks. This next tax is also important. Can you invite everyone to the next team meeting? Yes, I will. But first, you need to book a meeting room. After that, please send everyone an email about it. Yes, of course. And finally, can you write a short report about our new project? I have to get a presentation to our managers. Next month, please do it when you have time. Sometime in the next two or three weeks, it's not too urgent. Sure, no problem. I can do it this week. There's no hurry. Take your time. Okay, I guess you have some ideas, but we're going to listen again. See, si, um, Diana, se escuchó? Yes. Okay, perfect. Let's listen again. Hi, Mario. Can you help me prepare some things for the next month? Okay, sure. What can I help you with? I need 
to visit the customer in Germany? It's important. Why can I do to help? Can you send an email to the customer? Ask them when I can visit them next week. Let's do this first. This is a priority and very urgent. Right. I'll do it today. Thanks. This next tax is also important. Can you invite everyone to the next team meeting? Yes, I will. But first, you need to book a meeting room. After that, please send everyone an email about it. Yes, of course. And finally, can you write a short report about our new project? I have to give a presentation to our managers. Next month, please do it when you have time. Sometime in the next two or three weeks, it's not too urgent. Sure, no problem. I can do it this week. There's no hurry. Take your time. Okay, so um, we're just tell me two or three words or phrases, okay? Solo dos o tres palabras o dos frases, okay? Para que participamos todos. We're going to start with Diana and then Elsa. Okay. Can you help me uh, prepare uh, the new project? Algo así creo que era. New project. Yes. Good one. Visit <laughs> customer in Germany is important. Okay. Thank you, Diana. Elsa and Claudia. Uh, visit customer in Germany next week, meeting route, uh, and short report. Okay, fine. Claudia and Mercy. Hi, Mario. Can you help me? I need the customer, Germany. Yes, I will. Yes, or call. Sometime in the next. Okay, fine. Only. Thank you, Mercedes, Maritza. I need to visit the customer Germany finally in next month. Okay, good. Thank you, Maritza Andrea. New project uh, finally um, presentation. Good, thank you. Andrea and Kevin. Uh, also important uh, and uh, sure, not problem. Mm. One more. Um, book a meeting room. Ah, that's it. Kevin and Christian. Hey, I did not understand the subject, but I listen it. Sure, no problem. Can okay. mm. sure, no problem. I can do it this week. Can you help me visit the customers? Okay, fine. That's it. Christian and Manuel. And finally, manager. And yes, of course. Good. Manuel Susi. Uh, can you help me pre to prepare the, the, whole, uh, the visit uh, the customer in, gener in Germany? Okay. okay, relax. Uh, we go Susi and Luis. Two or three weeks, take your time in Qing meeting. Okay, thank you, Susi. Luis and Marlon. Okay, uh, next week, presentation on Germany. Um, uh, prepare customer Germany visit. Thank you, perfect. Marlon. Uh, okay, uh, um, she is paying some favors to him. And one of them is to invite everyone to the next team meeting. Uh, uh, what he's uh, asking what can he do for help? Mm -hmm. And and she pay to, she's paying to, to him to write a short report. And she's saying to him, there's no hurry. Take your time, I think. Okay, yes. Okay, good, thank you. I guess everyone passed, creo que ya todos pasaron. Right. So if you notice the previous uh, listenings were kind of difficult because uh, there were different vocabulary included. And now this is ver like a simple vocabulary. If you notice, it is very easy to understand what is happening, what is the main point, what are some phrases. ¿verdad? Entonces, como que este audio no sé si lo sintieron más fácil que los anteriores. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Y es más largo. Okay. So, um, Let's listen. Let's listen once and, the, and later we continue with the 
participations. Let's listen. Hi, Mario. Can you help me prepare some things for the next month? Okay, sure. What can I help you with? I need to visit the customer in Germany. It's important. What can you do to help? Can you send an email to the customer? Ask them when I can visit them next week. Let's do this first. It's a priority and very urgent. Right. I'll do it today. Thanks. This next tax is also important. Can you invite everyone to the next team meeting? Yes, I will. But first, you need to book a meeting room. After that, please send everyone an email about it. Yes, of course. And finally, can you write a short report about our new project? I have to get a presentation to our managers. Next month, please do it when you have time. Sometime in the next two or three weeks, it's not too urgent. Sure, no problem. I can do it this week. There's no hurry. Take your time. Okay, um, going adelante from now on, on, we're having some of these conversations. Vamos a tener más que todo conversaciones. Necesito, I really need you to understand the main topics or the main points of a conversation, okay? Because paragraphs are okay, speech, speeches are okay, verdad? Los discursos son, yeah, they're nice. But what you need to understand, understand more, it's conversation. So we're going to focus on this. No, vamos a enfocar más que todo en eso, okay? So uh, to continue, we have the tell the funniest moment in your life. We'll go with Andrea and then Diana. Okay, Andreita, go ahead. Vamos a escuchar esto. Okay. <laughs> no se va a burlar. No, never. I don't know, Rick. <laughs> well, uh, once I... I was late to go to work. I did everything uh, very quickly and left. Already at work, one of the shoes felt strange and I decided to check it. While doing, uh, wh while doing it, I realized that I had a put a shoe, a shoe of one of the... Of, a a shoe? different. Yes. A different shoe. Okay, you were wearing different shoes. Okay. Yes, uh, because uh, I have two pairs. Two pairs, two pairs. Two pairs, very similar. Uh, mm. Only yeah. the difference is an elastic. Ah. Uh, es la única diferencia. But, but they, they are different. Igual. Well, because of that. And y, please continue. Eh, era de madrugada y, y estaba. It was, it was dark. Yes, that, uh, that happens. You, you cannot see uh, clearly and you are sleepy. Están como con sueños. So, um, you're, you're modo zombie. Yes, <laughs> zombie mode on. So, and uh, question Did the people around you notice it? ¿Lo notaron? Uh, for Tú, ¿Cómo es? Fortunately, fortunately. Fortunately, no. Wow. Hasta que yo, yo me di cuenta. Ok. Uh, bueno, así pasa. O nadie pas le dijo. O nadie le dijo. Bueno, así, Ajá, así pasa cuando... That happens when we are in love. Cuando estamos enamorados, así pasa. Todos se dan cuenta, menos nosotros. Ok. So, uh, that's it. Thank you, Andrea. No, I'm not going to love. Ok. <laughs> Debería tomar una foto. Ok. And... Diana, and after Diana, we're going with uh, Mercy. Okay. The funniest moment was on, on ¿cómo se dice eso? Once. Uh -huh. The funniest moment uh -huh. was when, was? o cuando, was. No, uh, was, was. No, la palabra on. once. 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 Eh, que significa una vez. Ajá. Uh -huh. uh -huh. once. once when I... Well, at work, and the only thing I thought at the moment was getting up quickly and friend and a friend um, was watching the uh -huh. watching me and well instant uh, of picking me of 
he laughed eh, out loud. Out loud. No sé, sí, así. se puso a reír a carcajada cuando te levantó. Eh, okay. No, no me levantó. Solo, yo me levanté rápido. Qué él solo me vio, ajá. O sea, fue divertido para él, para mí no tanto. No, ok. Did you hurt? ¿Te lastimaste? Did you get hurt? No, solo te sobas. Pobrecito, Diana, ok. La honra. Ok. <laughs> Solo la honra. Eh, Dianita, creo que estamos pagando algo. I think one of your sins, uno de tus pequeños pecaditos. Yes. Ok, karma is the karma. Ok, yes, that happens. Uh, it is, it is embarrassing. Es embarazoso. Es, es, es los momentos que son. Bueno, después vamos a ver eso. Embarrassing moment, momentos vergonzosos, yeah, that's it. But especially when people is uh, when people are watching, when la gente está viendo, that's why they are embarrassing. Okay, uh, Mercy, uh, your turn. And after Mercy, we're having um after Mercy, we're having Christian. Okay, en realidad no sé si es. Funniest? No problem, go ahead. Uh, the moment funniest thing that has happened to me is entering the university in the wrong room for being clueless. Ok, por estar despistada. Ok. Y sí, me, me senté y <laughs> todos se me habían quedado bien, bien real. Y participando, Mercy. Era un salón de leyes. <laughs> ok, Mercy. No, yes. me le, me levanté, me. no, and the people look at you uh, like we're like, mm, what's this? ¿Quién es ella? Okay. So, <laughs> well, you are very clueless. <laughs> despistada. Creo que se llamaba una, una serie. Despistada. Pues, okay. Thank you, Mercy. Good one. And uh, Christian, right? And after Christian, Claudia. Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, when I went to school, I finished cleaning my shoes, and I and it had raining in my foot when into a hole, uh, and I was hit, and I was needed in move. Okay. Repeat, please. Repeat this part. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was, and I was, and I was need deep, need deep, no sé, hasta la, hasta la rodilla, o no sé cómo. Ajá. In mood, o okay. mood de, de, de en, lodo. En el lodo, en el lodo. Ajá. Wow. Acaba de limpiar los zapatos. Ok, so, uh -huh. Lo divertido es que no quería la escuela. Ok, Cristian, that is something, cuando realmente... Cuidas algo así, that happens, ok? So, mood. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Bien. Thank you for the mood story, Christian and Claudia, and we finish with Susie. 11 minutes and we finish. Ya casi terminamos. Ok, Claudia. Ok. The funniest moment of my life was when my sister got a jam in her hive and I had to cut a part of it, she looked very funny. Okay, okay. Uh, uh, I, w I want to understand her. Ella se parqueó. ¿A eso te referís? No. no. Ella se le pegó un chicle en el cabello. Ajá, uh -huh, a gum, a gum. Uh -huh, uh -huh. On the hair. Entonces, después, este, como el de ella es así como más rizado. Uh -huh, Ajá, curly. Rizado. Uh -huh. Entonces, no, no se le pudo quitar, se le tuvo que cortar. You have to cut. Wow, I'm sorry. And was it a big gum? ¿Era grande la goma? No. Sí. Y... De una parte lo tenía, le quedó desnivel. Oh. Well, uh, a new look, un, un nuevo look le tocó. Okay, thank you, Claudia, yeah. for your gum story. Susie Q. Mm -hmm, Susie. Okay. Thirteen. Years ago, my cousin and me pull, pull it, pull, pull, pull down, pull down of the tall tree, uh, pull down on top of her ribs, and she gasped, and I hit my arm 
we have to hide the pains to take wooden punish us. Okay, so you fell down, se cayeron o botaron algo. Yeah, no oh. nos caímos de una rama, estábamos colgadas. Oh, okay, <laughs> okay uh, did you have, did you hurt your arm? Te lastimas el brazo. Sí, y teníamos que disimular mucho el dolor porque si no nos iban a castigar. So you were smiling and, y por dentro. Solo estábamos con, con un tío, pero no se fijó que nos caímos. O sea, y, y si decíamos algo, sí nos iban a, a pegar lo más probable. That's really funny cuando te sobas calladito. Cuando te sobas así, calladito, ni modo, así toca en silencio. Okay. Ah, eso sí, otra que estaba pagando también sus... So, so that, uh, their, her scenes. Okay, now we go with the. What's the name of this song? Claudia, right, Claudia? Your turn. It's your turn, right, Claudia? Mm -hmm. Yo. Mm -hmm. Oh, the quién era? Quién me lo mandó? No. Ah, Maritza. Maritza, Maritza, Maritza. You, you. I'm sorry. Como lo decía, Claudia. Yes. Okay, Maritza, Ajá. when? Ajá. Uh -huh. Could you read it? Puedes leerlo. When the weekend carry uh -huh. us away in captivity, requiring of us a song, now how shall we sing the Lord's song in a strange land? Okay, in a strange land. Do we have any ideas? Tenemos alguna idea de esto? Claudia? No. Um, Okay, a clue, una pista, María, María, Maritza, María. Um, it's about the Bible. Okay, it's a, is it a gospel song? It's like a song the gospel, or huh? is it, it's a gospel song, una canción de gospel, or it's a religious song, una canción religiosa? No, no, no es religioso. No, not really, not really. Mm. Okay. Wow. Uh, the singer, is the singer a girl or a boy, a man, a woman, a band? It's a group. Roberto. ¿Cómo se llama quien canta esta? Ay, Maritza, ni vos sabes. Okay. No, sé cómo se llama la canción, pero... ¿quién yes, la canta? No but sé. the point is that you should know the band and the, the name. Y hasta le puso, hasta silenció el micrófono. Ok. <laughs> Ajá, Maritza. No, no, no sé cómo se llama el, el quien la canta. Come on. Ok, vaya, Maritza. And what's the name of the song? ¿Cuál es el nombre de la canción? Eh, Babylon, The Rivers. Rivers ah, Babylon. But the Rivers of Babylon. That, that one? ¿Ah? ah, yes, 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 yes. Ya me acordé qué parte es. Ok, good. No, The Rivers of Babylon. No creo que sea. Ni yo sé. No, but I don't remember. Marlon. Um, uh, I know that song. Uh, I remember uh, the rivers of Babylon, mm -hmm. but I don't remember the the artist. Well, it's, a, and, it's and I don't remember that part, the uh, uh, teacher. Uh, um, Do you remember? Okay. I don't Maybe. remember uh, really. Okay. Maybe we're going to check it later. Vamos a revisar of course. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Marlon. Okay. Six minutes and we finished. Six minutes. Solo les quiero, uh, on, what, on the WhatsApp group, I send you um, a list of 101 irregular past tense verbs. I remember when I was at high school, I had a teacher and she sent me a handout, me dio un folleto, of six pages, the six páginas. Okay. Front and reverse, printed, impresa, frente y, y, y reverso, with like 400 uh, verbs, como 400 verbs. She told us to memorize those verbs in one month. And that's not the correct way to learn about verbs, no es la forma correcta para aprender los verbos, sino el uso que le vamos a dar, that's the point ok, so I uh, share uh, with you this um, this uh, past tense verbs for you to check which ones are important to you or which ones hold your attention, verdad, para cuáles 
eh, les llama la atención. Por ejemplo, uno que es eh, one that it is so important is go. Okay, this is pretty important. No, that is new. Okay, speak, spoke. Mm -hmm. eh, y ese de que dice let, eh, también en pasado. Estos son, esto, esto son los verbos que me encantan. Because they don't change. Esos no cambian. Igual que este. Me, I, I love the, these verbs. Le voy a decir que otro. Aquí está la H. Aquí está aquí. Teacher, pero ¿y entonces por qué es irregular? Porque no sí. cambia. Por eso es irregular. Porque los regulares ah. llevan ED. Ah. Totalmente. Los regulares llevan ED. ED. Si no llevan ED... Y, y, y el verbo que no lleve de y en pasado, aunque, aunque se escribe igual, es un irregular. Ya. Para ser regular, el requisito de, de requirement is to have a ID at the end. Es de que tenga ED al final. ¿okay? Por ejemplo, could. ¿ve? Otro. Right. Eh, y esos son los verbos que a mí me gustan. Set. Esos son los primeros que se tienen que aprender porque son fáciles. ¿okay? Cost. Ajá, cost. Uh, what is cost? Cost, 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 cost. Ajá. Genial, ¿verdad? Así fueron todos. Yes, but no. So, uh, there are some that are quite different, but I know that you, you, you know this verb. Ustedes los conocen todos. Yo creo que de los 101, al menos 90, at least 90, you know, you know it, you know them in present. En presente los conocen, ¿verdad? pero no en pasado. Maybe some of you, or if you know them, congratulations. But uh, one of the main objectives is that you learn this 101 irregular past uh, tense verbs in this course. Lo ideal es que se aprendan por lo menos, si no es todo, por lo menos 75. You can do it, okay? O hoy utilizaron varios verbos en pasado que son irregulares. Y unos regulares. No sé si, si se dieron cuenta, pero los utilizaron. You, you apply them. Okay? Así que esta lista es bien importante. Um, yo les recomiendo que vean los verbos que son fáciles. No se enfoquen porque saben qué pasaba con nosotros cuando estábamos estudiando. Nos los íbamos aprendiendo del 1 al 5. Del 6 al 10. Mm -mm. I don't recommend you that. No les recomiendo eso. Les recomiendo que utilicen los verbos que puedan identificar en canciones los verbos que a ustedes les llamen la atención, por ejemplo, could, ¿verdad? Cost, que son fáciles, esos ya, ya van, imagínense, hay como cinco que, que, que se repiten, que no cambian, y rápido, y poco a poco se van a ir aprendiendo más, ¿verdad? Entonces, have. Teacher, ¿qué es grow? Mm, sorry. Blow. Grow, grow. Ah, no grow, verte. grow es uh -huh. crecer. Uh -huh. Como grow up. Thank you. You're welcome. Grow up. Mm -hmm. Grow. Hay algunos, eh, por ejemplo, take. Yo recomiendo es, hagan un ejercicio. Busquen la letra de una canción que a ustedes les guste y le puedo apostar que al menos van a tener dos o tres verbos en pasado. Eso. Así comience con eso. ¿Verdad? Entonces, y así van a aprender bastante. I, I learned a lot about it a través de eso, por eso Andrea ya, ya me está haciendo los consejos, espero que los demás lo hagan, les va a funcionar and we finish this class Como terminamos ya esta clase, solo voy a pasar lista rapidamente, Maritza ok eh, yes, yes. Eh, thank you Maritza eh, tú te quedas conmigo ahora verdad Maritza, me parece yes I'm, I'm going okay. to show. Oh, uh, sí, Maritza. Okay. You go. Okay, I'm going to check the attendance list. Uh, Ana Mercedes, hello. Present. Thank you, Andrea. Hi. Hello, uh, Claudia. Present, teacher. Okay, and uh, Carolina. No, Carita, Ma Maritza, yes, yes. Hello, Christian. Present. Thank you, Dianita. Present. Hello, Elsa. Here, teacher. Hello, Kevin. Present, teacher. Thank you. Luis. 
Hello. Manuel. Present. Marlon. Present. Okay. Um, Susie. Present. Okay. Claudia Díaz, ayer nos tocaba, fíjate, los 10 minutos. El tuyo te lo voy a pasar para el martes 28, ¿ok? El otro martes. Ok, vamos contigo. Okay. Thanks a lot. Ok, Maritza, nos quedamos. Uh -huh. Una consulta, solo yeah. a quién le va a tocar la canción mañana. Ok. Vamos según la lista que, que nos toca la, la, la participación, fíjense. Entonces, mmm, Cristian. Cristian, te tocó okay. la de la canción. Uh -huh. Ustedes solo okay. tienen que ver ese, el, el listado que le di, quiero ver mi saldo. Pero vean el listado de, según los de los 10 minutos. Okay. Y a ustedes se lo envío entonces. La, sí, la el extracto, el extracto. Bueno, aunque tú ya lo puedes compartir, si quieres lo compartes tú. Okay. Ahí nos ponemos de acuerdo. Ok, the rest, goodbye, my dear friends. Descansen. Goodbye. Sí. Bye, teacher. Bye, good evening. Bye, good evening, everybody. Ok, Maritza. Mm. Tell me, we have a couple of minutes, tenemos un par de, de minutos. Dime qué te gustaría que reforzáramos. If there is a topic that you consider we need to reinforce. Yeah. Have feedback. Um, uh, a question. Mm -hmm. I have a question. And uh, la, las uh, homework. Yes. The of the book. Um, ¿Usted las ha recibido? Eh, te ¿Cómo refieres? funciona? Va, va, va. ¿Te refieres? Yo después de la clase entro al libro y contesto cinco preguntas que están ahí, pero yo no sé si eso es correcto, si estoy haciendo bien, si es así. Yes, yes. So, son cinco preguntas por clase. Después de cada clase son cinco. Sí. Uh -huh. lo, lo que pasa es que el primer día, jueves, yo no entré. Entonces, yo no sé si estoy atrasada. No sé si tengo una, un, un examen atrasado. Eso vas, es lo que quiero vas. saber. Vas excelente, vas excelente. Todo lo has hecho y va bien. Lo que sucede es esto, ok. Eh, Maritza, we have a platform, tenemos una plataforma. So you complete eh, the five questions, eh, that's one homework. Cinco preguntas, una tarea. Permíteme. Uh -huh. Ok, so eh, after every class, I recommend you to complete that homework. Or you can do it in a whole session. O lo puedes hacer en una, una sola sesión. ¿A qué me refiero con esto? Después de cada clase, si lo haces, es práctico. Y si lo haces, y si dejas dos días sin hacerlo, también lo puedes hacer el tercer día. El punto es que después de una semana, yo debo de pasar esas notas. Right? Mm -hmm. I don't check. I don't evaluate. Yo no evalúo. La plataforma lo hace. Yo lo que tengo que mm -hmm. hacer es eh, tomar esas notas y pasarlas a un cuadro que tenemos, ¿verdad? Entonces, mm. eh, la ventaja de esta plataforma es que si tú fallas, si te sacas yeah. mala nota, digamos, puedes volverlo a hacer y tu nota mejora. Okay. Eso mm. es lo genial. Entonces, eh, no es que me llegue directa a mí el resultado. El resultado me, me llega final cuando ya has completado casi todo. Oh, pero yo puedo ver mm. tu progreso también. Puedo ver tu progreso, ¿ok? So, that's it. Eh, te recomiendo, así como lo has estado haciendo, porque tú vas bien, vas, 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 vas puntual, pero eh, si por el dado caso te atrasas un día, dos días, puedes hacerlo después, ¿verdad? Pero no te recomiendo que te atrases más de tres días, pero porque verdad se que acumula. En el, ¿Verdad que en el libro están todas las actividades de chat, pero yo no sé cuál es la que tengo que resolver? ¿O no están? ¿No están habilitadas? Eh, vaya, no es un libro, es la plataforma. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Es la plataforma. Entonces, eh, hay algunos que se adelantan. Hay uh -huh. algunos que, por ejemplo, hacen todas las tareas de un solo. Bueno, quizás posiblemente tuvieron el tiempo para hacerlo y conocen un poquito del tema y lo han hecho. ¿Verdad? Uh -huh. También es otra opción. ¿Verdad? Lo importante es que lo vayas haciendo poco a poco también porque a veces sí, tenemos, sí. tenemos como refresco, ¿verdad? Todo. Uh -huh. Y es más fácil, uh -huh. ¿verdad? Entonces, depende de ti. ¿Verdad? Entonces, es eso. Cada semana, por ejemplo, cada miércoles que vamos a estar finalizando unidad, por ejemplo, este, ayer finalizamos y comenzamos otra unidad, 
la unidad 2 y la vamos a terminar el otro miércoles. De ahí así vamos. Entonces, para el otro miércoles, ustedes ya deben determinar la unidad 2. Okay. El problema es que hay algunos que dejan pasar los días y cuando vienen a hacer, se les acumulan. Son cinco preguntitas, pero de tantas mmm, lleva tiempo. Y a veces uno se estresa. Porque, se va olvidando. Sí, a veces se estresa porque falta un punto, no te acepta la respuesta, te hace falta una letra y tú, pero no entiendo. Entonces, eh, por eso es mejor hacerlo con tiempo. ¿okay? Uh -huh. ¿Cómo has sentido la plataforma o, sea, o la forma de, de esas eh, tareas? ¿Las has sentido difíciles o fáciles? No, no, no es también. Eh, me, parecen, me parecen bien, me parece que la clase es, es bastante dinámica. Si a mí me cuesta un poco este, expresar, o sea, creo que a todos nos cuesta un a poco todos, eso, a, a todos, Maritza. Pero eso. veo algunos quizás han, no sé, han venido con ustedes desde hace... Sí, sí, uh, fíjate, eh, eh, te comento esto. Es la primera vez que me dan un, un grupo, ya llevo con esos tres módulos con algunos de ellos. Ah, Ajá, uh -huh. pero anteriormente siempre me daban un, un, un módulo y me lo cambiaban. Otro uh -huh. módulo y me lo cambiaban. Ahora sí me dieron eso. Entonces, por eso es que si te das cuenta, ya están bien acostumbrados a mi metodología. Uh -huh. Ajá, uh -huh. entonces, por eso, pero ustedes ya se acostumbraron. Yo ya te vi a ti que ya captaste con, cómo hacemos la clase. Eh, veo a Elsa, que también es muy buena. Veo a Luis, a Manuel. Entonces, no, todos traen un buen nivel. Solo recuerda que siempre hay algunos que quieras si no, aprenden más rápido, están un poquito avanzaditos, pero van bien. Yo siento que te expresas muy bien. Y si te das cuenta, las speaking activities que tenemos es para que vayas intentando Ajá. desenvolverte. Sí, no, no sé si eso lo hacías en el módulo pasado, pero a mí me gusta hacerlo porque si le damos un espacio al estudiante para que hable de algo un poco diferente, Ajá. con sus propias palabras. ¿Qué es lo que va a pasar en la vida real? Ya hablando inglés, vas a tener que hablar. Así es. Uh -huh. Pero... No, yo, yo es primera, en este sistema es primera vez que, que, que estudio. Yo saqué un curso en la, en la europea, pero casi lo terminé. Pero como yo no practico, eh, se, me, se me olvidó, pero me hicieron un examen. Uh -huh. Entonces, por eso me pusieron aquí, no, pero yo no había empezado. Ah, o sea que tú no has estado en los módulos anteriores de este mm, no. de, 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 aquí, de, de inglés pues, para el trabajo. No. 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 Eh, ya, ahora entiendo, sí, por eso que quizás has visto, vale, eh, comentarte lo siguiente. Eh, si te das cuenta, es muy diferente las clases que tenemos acá porque es enfocada al trabajo. Es uh -huh. inglés para el trabajo, en cambio en las academias que son inglés así en general, es eh, más amplio, es diferente, ¿verdad? Entonces, esto es enfocado al trabajo. Entonces, uh -huh. este, también trato de implementar otros temitas que ayuden y complementen, ¿verdad? Pero considero que, que sí tienes un buen nivel. Lo que sí necesitas es más vocabulario, un poquito más de vocabulario y ya. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Entonces, poco a poco, ¿verdad? Va, vas a ir este, mejorando. Siento que estás mejorando, Maritza, ¿verdad? Eh, si te uh -huh. das cuenta, todos participan. A mí me gusta sí. que este grupo, todos participan. Algunos hasta quieren hablar de más. Entonces, eh, trato de darles la oportunidad a todos. Si te das uh -huh. cuenta, me gusta que todos participen, no solo uno, sino que todos. Y ahí vamos, ¿verdad, Maritza? Así que, pues, no sé si tienes otra duda, porque ya se nos está acabando el tiempo. Si otro duda, por no, por ahorita, por ahorita creo que está bien. Mm, está vale. bien así. Uh -huh. Excelente, Marisa. Entonces, te agradezco. No, te agradezco a ti y, y pues, felicidades porque he notado que, que estás progresando y me gusta ver que, que le ponen empeño, ¿verdad? Ya nos quedan 14 clases, ¿verdad? 14 clases terminamos, así que, le vamos a meter un poquito más para que se ponga todavía más productivo las cosas, ¿ok? Ok. okay. Uh -huh. Excelente. Entonces, bueno, te, me despido todos. Buenas noches. Buenas noches. Goodbye. Good night.